In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how we can use mixing to change um, textures on top of our animation. We've done mixing with transforms to show how we can do attacking while walking or running. In this one, we're going to do a blinking um, animation that will run on top of all other animations. So if we go into our animation, open the editor, we're going to create a new animation clip. We're going to base off a of stand. So let's right click, duplicate first frames change this to blink. Now, we actually don't need all of this. I just like to have them there for reference. Since we're mixing and we're only going to mix the face, that's the only bone that we actually need to change. And that's all that will actually be pulled across. But again, just for reference, I like to keep everything there. So let's, uh, we're going to start with the head. And in this animation, we actually want him to close his eyes. So let's change this to the closed eyes view. And we'll add another keyframe, blank one, changing the texture back to open eyes. Now if we play it, it's just going to be real quick. He just blinks and opens his eyes again. It's probably too long of a blink, so let's speed that up a bit. We just want him to blink real fast like that. That's perfect. So now, since we don't want to play the whole animation because he would just be standing still rigidly and blinking all of a sudden in the middle of the other animations, we want to play that blink on top of whatever else he's doing. So let's click on Mix and only pick the head. And let's put it on a really high layer since it'll play on top of everything, including attack. Play on top of anything. So now we have mixing at layer 20. Let's go ahead and close this. Let's go into our script and the update. Let's actually put in some variables here so we can adjust the blink. We're going to randomly blink, so we want them to blink between a minimum time and a maximum time. So that's what these two variables will will show, and it'll be able to be adjusted in the editor. We're going to need one more variable, and this is going to be a private one, not something we can adjust in the editor. That's just a countdown to the next blink time. So in the update, down here somewhere, we can say if the blink time left is less than or equal to zero, that means the countdown's run out, it's time to blink. So we'll go ahead and make the night blink. We want it to play on top of everything, so we're just going to use play, just like we did attack. Now this time, instead of a transform, it's just going to be playing a texture change, a blink. And then we want to reset the time or the countdown timer. To a time between min and max blink time. So let's say we had two seconds and four seconds. So then the next time he blinks will be somewhere between them, those two times randomly. And then it'll count down. Sorry, there's one thing I forgot to do, and that's actually count down. So each time we go through our frame update, it's going to be counting down the delta time from the blink time left. When that blink time reaches zero, the countdown's ended. So we blink, and then we reset the blink timer to a random number, and then it'll count down again. Just keep doing that. Let's save that. Now over here in the night, we need to set these variables or it will never count down. Actually, it'll just constantly blink. So let's make it maybe four seconds and six seconds. So somewhere between four and six seconds, every four and six seconds he's going to blink. So let's go ahead and play this. And watch his eyes. blinks occasionally. Just kind of gives his features a little more animation, a little more lively. Looks more alive. We can make him blink a lot, let's say between one and one second, so he's always going to blink every second. That would be a little too steady, but probably too blinky. 
So between four and six is probably a good number. That's how you can play textures on top of other animations, just like you would transforms. This is something unique to Smooth Moves. This is not something you could easily do in a 3D package. It would take a little more coding to do that. Um, and again, it's not actually going to be swapping out textures or anything. It's, it's using the same material so you're not adding draw calls. This is just, just like the rest of the night animation. If the sword had been included in the night atlas, this would all be one draw call even with the blink. So you're not losing any optimization by doing these um, updates on the texture at runtime.